So, this parcel arrives out of the blue, a complete surprise, no idea what's in it, but I do know it's from my good buddy Gary Moore from over in the States. Go swim, Pat. Do you know what to do? Outrageous. I'm the only professional around here. Hey Dave, please find enclosed a few items that you might like or require your expert restoration. Ooh, very nice. All are from the Andy and Gary Hall we got earlier this year. So, this is from both Gary Moore and Andy at the Holo Chronicles. That's awesome. And the haul that they got earlier in the year, well, that was just amazing. It had a huge amount of Star Wars. There was also some Kenner Indiana Jones that I managed to acquire from them. So thanks guys for allowing me to grab those. And look, they've been very generous. It's just a huge pile of stuff here. So thanks guys once again for this. Uh, let's just dig in, shall we? First off, what have we got in here? Ooh. <laughs> that, well, that's Captain America. Look at that. It's Captain America with a rather large head. This is a Mego figure, yes. Wow, this guy is pretty old. I think this is from late 70s, I think. Oh, he needs a little restoration. He's got a bit of a wobbly knee, but this is awesome. I do have the 12 inch uh, Superman. Ah, oh, yes, I'm going to enjoy restoring this one. It looks like uh, he has a shield, doesn't he? So it looks like he's missing a shield. And uh, I don't know what this is on the back. I'm going to have to investigate. But that is cool. That's definitely Mego, isn't it? Let's just pop this off the back here. Can I get that off? Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely Mego. Very cool, yes, love it. <laughs> I'm intrigued by this figure here. Let's have a look. Uh, he's got some kind of helmet. Let's just take it off. Oh, <laughs> look at that face. Those orange eyes, strong beard. That's an awesome looking figure. He's got a nice backpack as well. Hasbro, what is this? No idea. <laughs> Yeah, looks like a selection of limbs. Definitely needs some restoration. Who is this? Do you know what? This light on the front makes me wonder if this is a Super Joe. And if it is a Super Joe, then I'm going to be super excited because I've been looking for a, a different character from this range for a different reason. Right, I'm going to go away, do some research, and when I come back, I'll tell all. The Incredible Hulk meets Captain America, each a foot tall with flyaway action pack, assembly required. Fly! Captain America and the Incredible Hulk, both with flyaway action pack, each sold separately by Mego. This guy, he's called Darkon, and he is indeed a Super Joe. I'm kind of blown away by this. Uh, you don't see these very often. Well, I've never seen this before in the UK, never. So I imagine this is actually quite a rare figure. So I hope I can get him restored. But he is a Super Joe. And if you're not familiar with Super Joes, they were released by Hasbro in between the 12 inch G.I. Joe figures and the three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe figures. So these were released around the late 70s, 77 I think it was. And the reason I know about Super Joe is because of Palatoy Action Man. Palatoy Action Man borrowed one of the monsters from this line it's the big guy, the big monster called Teron. Only in Action Man they renamed it to Gargon. And there is, after doing some research, a king of the Terons called Gore. So I've been looking for Gore for a long, long time now, but he's hard to find. And to be honest, he just costs a fortune. So to have this Super Joe in the collection now is just amazing. It really has blown me away. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say thanks Andy and Gary just for Dark On. Yeah, I love it. Right, let's see what's in this little parcel here. To be honest, I'm still blown away by Dark On figure. No way. Uh, Topped Moonraker cards. No way, they're not all Moonraker. Let's have a look. 
Oh, I just love Roger Moore as Bond. Definitely my favourite. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Are these all Moonraker? Let's have a look. It looks like it. Oh, how many are there? Loads. Ah. Oh. Scenes from the film. Look at that. Ah. Oh. I've got quite a collection now of Bond stuff. Um, in fact, I've just added Drax to the collection. It needs a restoration. Uh, from Moonraker, of course. Ah, oh, look at these scenes. Oh, this is amazing. How many are there? Loads of them. Oh, I'm going to have fun looking through these. Guys, you know me. <laughs> you just know me too well. You really do. I can't believe what's in this box. I love it. Look at all these scenes. I'm going to have to watch Moonraker again. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There you go. Underwater scenes there. Oh, there's Jaws. <laughs> yeah, gives you a description of each scene. That's fantastic. Now, I will say, Andy's been a bit sneaky here because I was going to buy <laughs> some Moonraker cars off of Andy and now here they are in this box. So, guys, I'm going to thank you once again. Um, yeah, this is a box that just keeps on giving right now and you know me way, way too well. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Right, what have we got here? Oh, having been in America for a while, we've now headed east to Japan, a place I would love to go. And this is Ultraman. Now, I don't know much about the character, but I do know Ultraman has been around since the 60s and is very popular in Japan. And this is super cool. I do have quite a number of Japanese toys, in particular, lots of Microman and Micronauts, and some Kaiju as well. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Actually, I'm quite surprised that this has come from America. Return of Ultraman. Nice. I don't know what year this is, and unfortunately most of the text is Japanese and I can't read Japanese. <laughs> oh, looks like we have another Japanese item. What have we got here? I can see uh, Robo-Chan Man. I guess that's him there. <laughs> I assume this is a model kit. Let's open it up and have a look. Yes, it is. Looks like someone's had fun making this already. I assume that's Robo-Chan Man. I do love the wackiness of Japanese characters. And I guess if you're familiar with Gundam, it's like that. It's one of those model kits that you clip together. That's what it looks like anyway. Unlike the Airfix model kits from the UK where you end up getting more glue in yourself than the model. And this looks actually pretty old. I wonder if it's from the 80s. I'm not sure. I might have to ask Theo at Slimehouse TV. He's well up on his Japanese stuff and he might be able to give me some more information, but this is so cool. It's going to look awesome on display. Right, this is clearly from Japan as well. <laughs> Looks like we've got some carded items here in this very crinkly bag. Let's get them out. What have we got? That looks like another character from Ultraman. Don't know the name of that one. But it's pretty cool on card. And there we can see all the other Ultraman characters as well, especially the Kaiju, all the different monsters that they go and battle with. Again, can't read the text. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't read Japanese, but that is cool. And oh, it looks like we've got two of the same. I wonder what year these are. I might have to take one off card and then I can keep one on card for display. And there's still more. <laughs> We've got some Japanese paperwork. Now, these look like movie posters. This one is Gorath, <laughs> oh my word. Look at that space helmet. That's gotta be 60s, hasn't it? Oh, that's definitely of the day. The Last War. Very nice, these posters. Now, classic kaiju. That is Mothra. Yes, Mothra. That's awesome. <laughs> is this the Japanese James Bond? <laughs> Sci-fi. These are so cool. Ah, classic. Look at that. Godzilla. Oh, even more classic. Look at that for a, a movie poster. That's awesome. There's loads of them here. There's got to be, what, 20 or 30 posters in total? I'm just going to have to sit down and spend some time and go through them all. They're, they're awesome. And then underneath we've got a book here. That's Ultraman. What is this? 
Is this a storybook of some sort? Certainly lots of pictures of Ultraman and the enemies there, the kaiju. That's cool. It's nice actually to have a book to go with the Ultraman figure. That's cool. And then I've got another book here. Is that Ultraman? Probably one of the variations of him. That's awesome. Ooh, there's a record in there. I wonder if this is a storybook and that's the audio version of it. I do love the artwork in this one. That's amazing. I might have to try and use Google Translate to see if I can make sense of this story, but the artwork alone is just fantastic. Love it, absolutely love it. And look at that ship. You can't get any more Japanese than that. I had no idea this parcel was arriving, but I've had real fun taking a look at all the goodies inside from both the East and the West. Awesome, awesome items here. So thank you to Gary Moore and to Andy from the Holo Chronicles. It's a real surprise and it's made my day. So now I think I'm going to go off and do some research. I'm gonna put some stuff on display and prepare for some restorations. Stay safe everyone and cheers. Professional, <laughs> you're lucky you're not on eBay. Thank you for staying till the end. Reward yourself with another VTR classic. Or just leave a comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.